Shalom, I'd like to say our praises due to Yahweh Bashem and Washai, the honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, of whom I learned this truth. Peace and blessings to the whole for members of the elect through the four corners. Um, this is just a lesson in regards to uh, the crypto juice or the hidden juice, you know, um, the Sephardic juice, all right, who was um, persecuted in the land of Portugal and Spain. Um, during the Spanish Inquisition, and uh, we had to uh, leave, or uh, a lot of our people were, uh, chose to convert to Catholicism, you know, so, um, you know, because they, uh, they indoctrinated, they make it, because when Esau was rising to power, we basically, uh, you know, when Esau was rising back to power, let me get that. We basically, um, we fell, right, during um, the the fifteenth century. So basically, like fourteen ninety two, you no know, fourteen fifty three, um, during um, what do you call it? The Ottoman Turks, right? Ottoman Turks, they, uh, you know, like they rose up to power. All right, Ottoman Turks, and then, uh, you know, the Catholic Church, you know, which uh, which was set up by uh, Alexander uh, the Sixth of Rome. All right, and uh, you know, and the Borgia family. All right, hence where we get the image of Cesar Borgias. Right, or really like Serapis Crispus, right? Which was he was a uh, he was a uh, Edomite during uh, during the Ptolemy dynasty, you know. So um, there's a lot of history and stuff. Um, let me just get this, you know, crypto, which means uh, it's like yeah, crypto meaning which means concealed secret right hidden right and uh, we basically had to hide our identity you know because a lot of our people they had to go they had to learn or they had to follow the catholic way or the new christian way and uh, Hence, we why we our people still are in the uh, Christian church, right? With the you know with their uh, with their churches and shit, which are th they're not really teaching anything. It's just indoctrinating people, our people, um, you know. And uh, you no, know, there's nothing new under the sun, all right? Because uh, you know when uh, you know the Renaissance came or whatever which means the rebirth when Esau rose back to power um, it was already ordained you know so called uh, that manifest destiny <laughs> all right you know like this is what the white man calls right white man or uh, manifest destiny right which was yeah because he rose back to power right and um, then, hence Esau obtained his blessing, right? Genesis, uh, Genesis twenty-five. You get that? And I saw another angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit, and a great chain in his hand, right? So the so the angel, which is Yahushai, all right, and he's the one who has the keys. Yahushai has the keys, all right, and. Um, He's the one who controls everything, right, on earth, you know, and uh, the great chain in his hand is, uh, you know, you know, when Esau fell and, uh, you know, you know, like we had them in, uh, you know, you know, like we held them up, or we put them in the carcasses mountains for the most part, all right, and then uh, Esau really fell and, um, uh, basically uh seven so seven hundred 
something I think 712 AD. No, it's like a seven something AD. The um Like the Khazar Empire came to power, right? Right, because they had a pot, because they had a, a choice basically to choose, you know, um, Christianity, right? Because we're the original Christians, right? And, and we were in power for a thousand years, and basically, um, they had the ultimatum to choose, uh, like to choose Christianity. Or to choose uh, the Muslim, right? Because the whole Muslim thing came back to power. Or the whole Islam thing with Muhammad, right? Uh, which was orchestrated by the Roman Catholic Church, all right? Which they were Jake, but they're off. Basically, they set up Muhammad or whatever. Um, basically, I like to... Uh, like to get rid of the Arabs, you know, like from off the land, and that we should obtain the land, all right, and like and 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 basically, uh, like that's why, uh, like Muhammad, he basically set up that whole religion, all right, where they're praying to Mecca, like they're not praying to Jerusalem, right, and uh, because Ishmael, right, Ishmael, he's he, like he's the son of a bondmaid. You know, so I'm just fast forwarding it, but uh, yeah. So um, basically, the um, um, the Edomites, the um, what do you call them? What do you call his the sons of uh the dukes or whatever? I forgot their uh, name, but the damn Edomites basically. Like they set up that whole uh, religion, right? Where, uh, you know, where they basically had the the option to choose Christianity, Islam, and then uh, so like so what they chose is to Jew is to become an, is to follow the Jews way, or whatever, right? You know, but they're not the real inhabitants. So basically. You know they 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 set up that whole religion or whatever. So I have that book here. Um, let's look for it. Here, this has a lot of information. Yeah, here it is. It's called the Thirteen Tribe, right? Written by Arthur Costler. All right. Um, I could just scroll through quick. Yeah, basically it was written by um, the Thirteen Tribe, written by Arthur Costa. He's a so-called Jew, and uh, he basically exposed, you know, the whole narrative, right, of them being, you know, basically a, a convert, just a hip, you know, like you know, like not being the real people. They're just the imitators. Um. Slovakia. It's very vast, but uh, I could uh, one second. Yeah. 52. So basically, yeah, this is the conversion. So basically, this is page 52. All right. It says the Khazar Empire represents a, a third force a third force which had provided equal to either uh, which basically it says which pro, which had provided equal to either of them both as an adversary and a, and an ally but it couldn't 
only maintain its independence by accepting neither Christian nor Islam. For either choice would have an automatically sub subordinated with automatically slakya with automatically subordinated it to the authority of the Roman Empire or the Caliphate of of uh, Baghdad. So basically where the so called Byzantine Empire were in power or whatever. So they had the either choice to choose either the Christian way or whatever or the uh, Ishmael way. Right, which sounds like Ishmael. Right, so they chose the Jew way basically. Um, there's another thing. There's a lot of uh, history. Yeah, I wouldn't really plan on going it, but um, just for advocation's sake. Yeah, and I saw another angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bombless pit and a great chain in his hand and he said unto the unto the dragon that old serpent which is the devil and satan and bound him a thousand years right so we know who the dragon is right which is the roman empire the, like the greco-roman empire you know they uh like you know like they rose up or whatever and they fell you know and uh and, and they were subdued for over a thousand years. Now they come back with a renaissance, which means rebirth, right? right. So um, bound, and which is the devil and Satan, which is the great deceiver, the, the Esau, this great deceiver, and bound him a thousand years and cast him in the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years be fulfilled. And after this, he shall be loose a little season. So yeah, right now, this is little season is almost done. All right, because basically from 453, 492, we've been under subjection. We've been under their, under their dominion. All right. And even before 492, the early mid 1300s, you know, like the Black Plague throughout Europe, right? Where, you know, there was a, a plague, you know, that, that uh, you know, because a lot of our people were, into, like, like all throughout Europe, all right? From Germany, you know, Britain, you know, um, Iceland, New Zealand, like, we're, sc we're scattered, all right? But uh, the most I, he judged us, I judged it, right? Because... We were doing a lot of wickedness, and we're in ha we're having a lot of internal warfare amongst ourselves. So we that's why we fell. All right. Um. So yeah. So this is to the crypto Jews, right? It says crypto Judaism, right? Which is not ism, right? Because meaning to pertain to to be or be like or whatever. Like we're the crypto. Judah, the kingdom of Judah, right? In the secret, it said, it said the crypto Judaism is the secret adherence to Judaism, where while publicly, like professing to be in another faith or practicing or referred to as crypto Jew, which means hidden, right? So that's why basically from, uh, seven something um eight like no seven something a d you know like they came you know uh, like they were practicing it or whatever you know so they were like practicing to be jews or whatever but you know but you know but they're edomites you know and uh also we we don't like when we're in power through europe right through um uh, like through the Iberian Peninsula, Spain, all right, the Sephardic Jews, which I, I am, you know, I, I'm a Sephardic Jew, 100%, all right, and, uh, yeah, says, uh, says, the term is especially, is especially applied historically to Spanish Jews who outward profess Catholicism, 
and almost so it's like also known as as converts or moranos right because they converted our people because our people knew who the hell we were we knew who we were who we were and we had a culture all right so they want so basically they uh like they stole our culture they stole our heritage all right let me get that we stole, yeah, he saw, yeah, I think Dame Dash, he always had a thing called him, uh, he called the so-called Jew the culture vultures. Yeah, they are culture vultures, man. Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thus, even thy, even thyself shall discontinue for thine her, from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemy in the land which thou knowest not for for ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever yeah because we're doing a lot of wickedness man during a thousand years all right so the most i got fed up and he punished us as a punishment all right yeah so uh the converts are moranos or on him it says, uh, it said the phenomenon is especially associated with the Renaissance Spain, all right? So the rebirth of Spain, all right? When he, the wicked Esau, he came back to power out of his caveman state, you know? But he was, you know, so, you know, like they rose back up and followed the massacre of 1391 and the expulsion of the Jews 1492 so basically 101 years later or whatever a lot of our people were expelled from portugal and, Sp and spain you know and basically i think 1496 is um the fall of granada where you know like basically uh you know like they surrendered and we had to go, you know, a lot of our people were persecuted. Yeah, we were persecuted. Some of our people were burned at the stake, you know. So, uh, Esau has a lot of things to pay for, man. Said Morano, were Spanish and Portuguese Jews living in the, the Iberian Peninsula who converted or were forced to convert to Christianity during the Middle Ages, yet continues to practice Judaism in secret. The term special, like specifically, refers to uh, charges or uh, of the charge of crypto Judaism, whereas the term converse was used for wider population of Jewish converts to Catholicism, wherefore or not, they secretly still practice Jewish rites. It says convert from either Judaism and Islam. All right, so basically they, so when Esau rose back to power, all right, they, con they converted our people to Catholicism. All right, and, um, uh, Look at the word uh, Morano. All right, look at the etymology here on uh, Wikipedia. The origin of the their of the Moranos are applied to a uh, crypto Jews, right? So even like uh, when you go to like uh, South America or you go amongst the Latin tribes and they say, "Yo," they say Morano, Morano. All right, you know, like that's referring to the Jews, right? You know, basically, right? Or they try to say, you know, they, you know, people say, yeah, that, you know, like Moran is referring to as, as mean black. Yeah, it's really not, right? It was really a, a byword, you know, which we're, we're going to prove. As a one source term, it's a derived from, from, from Arabic word of forbidden, illicit, and then. Maharam says says the Arabic word thus says context meaning swine or pork and either 
ex express the same 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 it says either express the same recollection like towards the converts that the converts previously had for these religious unclean meat and yeah so yeah that was so basically they you know like they polluted us all right thus thus why what they've did you know, and still doing, you know, like they have our people eating pork, all right, uh, they have the Scott Burger, we make down, they have our people as the, as the face, you know, of, of, of our, you know, they basically, you know, like to eat pork and all that. Yeah, so they have a, a lot of things to, a lot of crimes to answer for. I'm gonna get that because what they were doing too when the greco roman empire came back to power you know like they had our people doing that to eat swine's flesh you know to not on un, like i'd like to not circumcise um our children and all that and they're doing it right now too even right now if you want to get uh if you want to if you're still um not circumcised it, you know it, it takes a, it's a lot of money you know like to get uh circumcised you know here in canada i think it's like um it's almost a thousand i think it's like a thousand and some uh, the, uh like dollars you know to get circumcised so you know um like uh, like there's a testimony in new york right on like gms new york uh, on like there was a two younger brothers you know like two or like two guys you know in the camp who who were on who were uh, uncircumcised and um and they had faith you know like they already like they bought certain utensils or whatever and they did it themselves and they had a testimony if any brothers could cause i don't know some you know so, you know certain brothers in our camp is you know like it's only like a handful Cause like pretty much the whole camp is circumcised. Just a, it's only a handful of members who's n who's not. So um, you know. So if you're circum if you're uncircumcised, um, you know like watch that video, man. You know of the two brothers in New York. You know like there's a there's a, a like two brothers in Great Millstone, Toronto. I mean Slaka in um that Great Millstone um. New York, all right. Who uh, like who did it? You know, like the, you know, like they did it themselves. So if you don't, if you don't want to do it yourself, you just have to spend some some money and and just do it. You know, and just do it. You know. You know because you know because this was a part of our custom, all right. And it's our as a token, right? Where they remember Abraham, he circumcised him, himself and his sons and his and his servants. So, you know, so we have to follow that covenant, right? Because when you're circumcised, you know, or, or like when you're uncircumcised or whatever, like it has like all kinds of bad bacteria and stuff. Like it's a lot of different stuff, right? Health reasons why you should. So, um. This is first Maccabees. I started at, uh, let me highlight this. It says first Maccabees one and 13. There then certain of these people were so forward hearing that they went to their king it said that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen, right? So basically, you know, when Antiochus rose, he rose to power, right? Because remember, there was, when you read the first Maccabees, it talks about Alexander, and then the, f the four generals, then Alexander died, then the four generals, and they separated, and they were warring amongst each other, um, Ptolemy, um, that Ptolemy, like so far, um, 
yeah, yeah, Ptolemy, like the Seleucid dynasty, I think, I think Cassander, and I think Lyamace, or one of the, well, it's four, four of them, and, um, you know, basically, uh, Antiochus, he comes out of the, he, he came out of the Seleucid dynasty, and he, he was raised in hell, all right, and, uh, we, you know, we believe that, you know, the pot, the Apostle Hart believes that, uh, basically, um, Joe Biden, he's probably, uh, he's probably anti osseous in the spirit. All right. Then certain of the people were so forward herein that they went to the king and who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. Wherefore they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem according to the customs of the heathen, right? So basically, yeah, what they were doing back then in Greece, all right, like they had, a, you know, like they had our people exercising butt naked, all right? And basically when you go to the gym, you know, I'm like, that's all you see, you know, but, you know, but they're not naked, but you're looking at, you might, you, you, like, you know, like, you know, like you're looking at a woman or whatever, and, and like you're, you could see everything, you could see the whole, the whole camel toe, or what you could see the whole breath, you could see everything, whatever, right? So basically, you know, they made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant and joined themselves to the heathen and were sold to do mischief. So yeah, so that's what they did, you know, and they're doing the same thing, right? So with the Renaissance. You know, with the Renaissance and whatever, you know, like they did it, the same thing and they're doing the same thing again with Rome. We're in Rome all over again. All right. Let me get, uh, I think, Revelation 19. And then I'm going to show a couple stuff. Revelation 19. And I started at 19 and I saw the beast and the kings of the earth, right? So the beast, right? Which is the, the Roman Catholic, the Roman, like, yeah, not the Roman Catholic, the Roman Empire all over again. All right. This is the new Roman Empire all over again. You know, that's being reincarnated, that's being lifted up and their armies gathers to make war against him that sat on the horse and against him and against his army, right? So yeah, how was shy and the and the angels, all right? All right, so they're trying to, you know, because they're preparing right now, you know, like they have the, uh, they have, um, you know, like they have all these different uh, satellites, you know, they have, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, like the space wars, you know, uh, like they have the space war program and stuff. Like they have the whole bunch of satellites and stuff. They have the, the uh, you know, like they have missiles up there too, you know what I mean? You know, uh, uh, like, uh, like basically, um, like, you know, that Esau, he sends them down and stuff, right? And all these different, you know, so it's a war. You know, the, like all these, the Elamite, you know, all these nations, you know, it's a arms, it's a nuclear arms race we're in right now, you know, because, you know, because they feel that, you know, that, you know, that, that they, because they know that the white man's empire is done or whatever. So right now, you know, like China feels like he's going to be the next ruler, you know, but it's not. All right. To make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army and the beast was taken and with the false prophets the false prophets the roman catholic church right who rose back to power that the wrought miracles before him that did deceive them that had the mark of the beast right so right now you know like what they're pushing with this whole um for the past two years, basically, with this whole, uh, this whole jump shot, this whole Mad Dog 19, basically, you know, you know, like this is, you know, like this is a big experiment and a lot of people are, are dying. 
but you know what they want now especially now you know like they want you to you know let like, like they want the whole world you know i like to get um basically the the chip in their flesh all right the rfd C I C H I P in their in their uh in their arm or in their forehead and and uh them that worship the image these both were cast alive into the lake of fire burning with brimstone right so even right now right you know you know like you see like see like when the lord comes and, and like he's gonna he's gonna do a lot of things man and um i was watching a thing in spain if i could uh if i find it it's like, yeah. it says uh tyler dies after being hit by a giant hailstone in spain all right so if you could, I'm going to check that out, man, because that's real. Mosai is doing a lot of thing, a lot of judgments, man. You know, hailstones, bro. People drop and on, what, like a little one-year-old little child died out over there, bro. You know, so the Lord is not playing. You see what's going on in Pakistan. You know, like people are, you know, with the flood. You know, people over there is being flooded out. I think it's like a i think they say it's like a, it's a couple million or tens of millions who who, who got flooded out in, over there in Port pakistan so it's real man and the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse which swore which which swords with swords proceeded out of his mouth and all the fowls were killed with their flesh right so yeah when the lord comes you know with the ship when you watch the movie uh when you watch a movie with will smith independence day with the mother sh with the father ship psh, bro that's a wrap yeah um yeah this is too you know um let me put on this I was going to go into uh, from Bamna and Timbuktu as well. All right. Because there's a lot of history too about this man too, Matthew da Costa. He was the first, he was one of the, he was a translator, you know, for the, like to the uh, Simon de Champlain, a Frenchman. And uh, he was a translator and a mediator to uh, translated who he was a translator and he's uh he's the one who bridged a gap you know on that with the french and uh and and the gadai or the natives the so-called gadites who, who were over here already so he, he 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 bridged the gap and whatever but um he was there for a short time and uh there is no more you know that there's not uh I'm not you know like there's not really a, a lot of history about what happened to him or whatever yeah i like you know like you guys should really make a fucking a movie about but you know what he's not gonna make a movie about it because he knows because he, he knows about the bloodline right of the da costa he right about he knows about the bloodline or whatever so they're not gonna make a movie or whatever about Matthew da Costa because there's even a, a Matthew da Costa day that they passed a bill in Canada at the parliament all right you know but you know but they haven't you know it, it, like it's it was passed you know but you know but there's no Matthew da Costa day you know that that that's that, that's being taught at schools or nothing all right so um you saw they have a lot of things to pay for and uh and that's it i could really say uh, Matt de costa was a afro french member of uh explorer party pierce Duga and the sioux de Mont and samuel de champlain right that traveled from france to the new world 
in early the 17th century. So when he saw he was doing his stuff, right? And, uh, you know, and they, and he, you know, like he was, a, um, what do you call it? Like Samuel Lee Champlain, he's a Frenchman. So they use our people because, um, you know, become, become Matt, or like Matthias da Costa, he was fluent in uh, Aramaic, uh, Hebrew, Spanish, the Portuguese, and and basically uh, like the native dialect, you know they call the pidgin dialect, which is uh, basically uh, like the Mi'kmaq land dialect and all that over there and uh, Montreal, you know that whole region, right? Uh, Nova Scotia. The, the whole new France, right? There's a lot of history. It says, there is little documentation about Matthias da Costa of a, at least, like particularly, it said, of a least, that it said, particle African ancestry, right? We bought African, right? All right. He is known, we see how Esau, he just has, you know, calling our people about African, or, you know, like, you know, like, like the, the so-called Africa was called the land of Ham prior. He is known to have been a free, free man and favored by explorers of his multi, of his multilingual talents, all right? And uh, even when I went to school, when I would go to school or whatever, I always, uh, because I have that same name, whatever, and I have, I have my father's name and I have, and I have that name, the custom. And um, so they always would say, yeah, I always would knew in the spirit that I'm Portuguese. I, I didn't know. I always knew because yeah, I tell you, yeah, I'm Jamaican and Portuguese. So, you know, when I, so I tell my teachers, or I tell certain other people that, you know, and they didn't understand because, but, you know, I, I come from that name. I come from that so far, from the Iberian Peninsula, from the Sephardic Jew, right? Of that, uh, of that, of that time, right? So I always knew in the spirit that, um, you know, that I, that, uh, I always knew in the spirit that I was a, a Jew too, right? Even my, uh, you know, that before my, my, my grandfather or my, uh, or like my, my, uh, grandfather died. Basically he, he, he died of cancer, but before he died, he, he, he was saying that he knew, he said that he's an Israelite. That was like 2007. And then, uh, my father, you know he's a Rasta, but he he's a Rastafarian. But he always knew that he was always he always knew that he's an Israelite. He'd always be telling you know people that he's an Israelite or whatever, right? So now you know now we know for sure, all right. And uh, there's a lot of history, man. All right, um, from Babylon to Timbuktu. This is uh this is a very good book. Um, this, you could, you could get the PDF or you could buy it online too for like eight bucks, $15, you know, very good information written by Rudolph R. Windsor. He's a black man. He probably have the kingdom. He's out the kingdom of Judah and, uh, he's, uh, you know, like he's a historian and, uh, yeah. And he, in like, he went to university and he, uh. And he documents, you know, he, you know, he went to school and he, uh, I'm sure he knew he's a Israelite or whatever. So he, he, he documents and he has, uh, this book, a bound chin book too. And then he has another book, I think the dry bones, if I could find it, if I, if I could find it. Yes. Yes, and like um like this is a good book too. Called The Valley of the Dry Bones. It says the condition that faced black people in America 
written by Rudolph R. Windsor. So that's a good book too. I'm sure there's a PDF or you could uh, buy it. So um, let me get the page from Bob Dylan Timbuktu. From Bob Dylan Timbuktu, page 127. Look here. Yes, page 127, the Jews of Angola. It says Jews practice sometimes um Jews practice sometimes divination and magic like Native American or Native Africans, right? So our people were uh, doing uh you no, know, our people were always into those types of stuff, right? Um, you no, know, because when you, you know, when people say, uh, when people say, um, like divination or magic, you know, you know, some of our people were doing that stuff on the right, and some of our people were doing the other stuff on the left, right? So there's a balance, right? The divination. The practice of seeking knowledge of the future or unknown supernatural means, right? So that's what our people are doing. Even like when you read about or you watch uh, movies about Queen Nanny and the Maroons, all right? They say uh, she had a lot of supernatural power, all right? She was able, you know, she, you know, she was shot at many times, you know, but she, she, you know, she was shielded. She was protected. And as well as, uh, you know, people who were in her army. And, uh, like, they say that her mother, they say that her husband, that he was a, a West African prince, all right? And he basically was put into slavery. And uh, he was in the transatlantic slave trade, and he came to Jamaica, all right? And uh, they say that he had seven seven he had like a uh seven siblings i think he had like uh like five sons like could you um yeah the five sons i think johnny um and basically um like there's another good book too this one's called um the iron thorn Called the Iron Thorn. It said the defeat of the British by the Jamaican Maroons. All right, that's why our people over there in Cockpit County and certain uh, all those you know a compound and more town. There's a whole I think Leeward town. There's a whole bunch of towns. There's a whole bunch of uh. It's a whole, it's a sovereign, it's a sovereign thing, you know, but basically, uh, you know, they're maroons and they're still, uh, they're still protected, you know, by the treaty of, uh, I think, you know, for the past, uh, basically almost 300 some odd years, they're still protected under that treaty. But uh, it seems like there's internal warfare amongst, amongst them. There's, a, and the government, and because uh all these different uh all these different nations you know the, you know are like they're coming down there into jamaica and they're doing this back like this bauxite mining or whatever and it's destroying the earth and destroying the land destroying the water and stuff so um if you watch the movie uh you watch that uh thing on with vice about uh Ch chief richard curry uh, he has a that that's a good uh that's a good video to watch all right but yeah the you know you know so the maroons you know like they were practicing that you know that stuff right the practice of seeking knowledge of future and unknown spiritual means right so whether you know because a lot of them will go up to the mountain top you know like they would go up to the way high up mountains you know, and um, I'm sure that they, I'm sure they commune to the angels, you know what I mean? So, it's real. Alright, um, magic, let me put my, 
when people talk about magic but you know but for the most part a lot of our people there's doing that stuff right on the left hand side all right so everything's balanced and stuff right but right now we know the good and evil now all right you know so magic the power of apparently influence the course of events by using mist by using it says it says by using mysterious or supernatural forces all right so yeah that's why queen nani maroon she defeated the british right with her sons and their armies man all right and they she you know like our people that the maroon in jamaica they freed a lot of their like a, you know like a lot of our people and um you know and they made a treaty some of our people they also to um some of the maroons they basically uh sold basically sold out you know some of their some of our people too you know like you know like to the you know like to the damn british you know you know basically um like to go on the plant plantation and stuff. so so it's complicated but yeah um let me go to the page uh thing yeah yeah, um, from Bamla Timbuktu, uh, page 127, Jews practice sometimes, Jews practice some, 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 some divination and magic like n native Africans. However, they observe some Jewish ceremonies and like in separate, separate um like in separate communities not consider themselves native african a lot of our people were already here too right like the arawak indians the seminoles um the tainos you know uh, so, however, they observe some Jewish ceremonies, and like in separate and like in separate in separate communities, not consider themselves Native Africans. Um, okay, it says they migrated from southern or no, it says they might said they migrated from this from the south, like probably Angola. All right, so you know that's why um, basically during the Spanish Inquisition, a lot of our people fled. You know, some of our people went to Santo Me, you know, and they were, you know, basically, uh, you know, uh, enslaved. All right, and uh, they had them on uh, you no know, plantations, you know, doing all kinds of uh, strenuous work. You know, Cape Verde, um, and uh, Angola. All right, and that's where a lot of our people went. That I think Angola, they still uh, speak the Portuguese. All right, it's a Portuguese colony. All right, so um, you know, basically, a lot of our people were down there, and uh, a lot of our people like disguised themselves, you know, as, as as like as Christians or Catholicism, the new Christians or whatever, and. Um, but in secret, they were practicing, you know, like the, you know, our, our law in secret. All right. And right now, like, this is what we're, we you know, um, like, these are the times that we're heading to. Because right now, everything right now, what we're doing, we're why uploading videos, um, going on the highways and byways. Soon, soon it's going to be, a, it's going to be a lot, you know, like where we can't even, um. Uh, upload videos or 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 any of that stuff right it's gonna be in there yeah so it's you know so right now let me get uh joel um joel three right because a lot of you know a lot of our people were sellouts too all right a lot of these uh a lot of our people like uh in like west africa got like uh 
a lot of our people because our people had all kind of different communities and stuff and uh a lot of the certain you know, like they're Israelites, right? But they were basically jealous too, all right. So a lot of them conspired and sold us into into hardcore slavery, bro. <laughs> so it's like it's real. It is real, right? It says um Joel three, and um I started at three, and they have cast lots for my people and have sold a girl for hard. They have sold Slaka, they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot and sold the girl for wine that they may drink. And that's what they were doing. Or you know, our people they were, you know, trading our people for guns, wine, and selling, you know, selling our people, you know. So let's say if you're of this tribe or this uh yeah, like you know, um, like let's say you're of this tribe, you're uh, you're of the the Fanti, and then there's another tribe of the of the Comor, like the Comorants or whatever Indians or or, or or like it's like not the Comorants but the Comorants people right there in the West Africa, whatever it was or or Mandiga. Or whatever they're let's say yeah you know like it was a whole thing where they were selling our people our people were selling each our each our people into slavery too and also the hamites too that every is a whole tra it's a whole slave trade bro esau was traded selling our people into slavery all right the hamites were selling our people into slavery <laughs> you know our people niggas are selling our people into slavery so it's like damn man I have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they may drink. Yea, what have you to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, right? So these Hamites, right? Alright. Because they're in the you know, you know, because when uh you know, because you know, because when we're in the land of uh of Canaan or land of Israel, a lot of those Hamites, you know, were envious because we really like we were supposed to get rid of them too. Like we're supposed to get rid of them, you know, but we always end, you know, in, you know, but we always end up mingling with these heathen or whatever. So, that, you know, so the, so that's why, the, you know, like the most High punishes us, right? It said, will you render me a recompense? And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return and recompense upon your own hand? Yeah, even the Arab, the Arabs had us in slavery too. You, you see the people right there in Lebanon and all that. West Bank and all that, Palestine and whatever. The Arabs had us in slavery too, man. All right. It says, and if you recomp and if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head, because you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. So even right now too, a lot of our people, man. All right, these all all these nations they have to, you know, like they have to like pay back, bro. All right, the children of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have these sold unto the Grecians, so that's why Esau, the Greeks, all right, which began with Alexander the Great. All right, they have might it says that they might bring them from their borders. Behold, I will raise them out of their places, whether ye have sold them, and I will return your recompense upon your own head. And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah. So when you watch the movies like, uh, if you watch them, if you watch the movie Goodbye Uncle Tom, Twelve Years as a Slave, Amistad, Mandingo, you know, um. Like the one with um uh, um like the one with Jamie Fox, Django and all that. Yeah, they have a lot of bro. Yo, what they did to us, bro. Bro, you're done. You're done. The most Yahweh Yahweh Shai. This it's done, bro. It's like this is real sh real life. Like you could know, like it's real life, man. And it's gonna get. 
it's gonna get the most side man the most side are consuming fire yeah? if i could watch if i could think yeah most side doesn't play bro bro side doesn't play bro most side is angry man all right because he, you know because he he sees that he saw he saw our our our, our plight man but you know you know, but he, he punished us too, but it's like, damn, you know, like what they would, what they were doing to us, man. Bro. If I could watch, if I could, yeah, consuming fire. I... Consume. I find that. On the most, I said he's a consuming fire. Make his angels, yeah. I'm gonna put angels. It says Revelation or Hebrews 1 and 7, and of the angels, he said, Who maketh his angels a he who maketh his angels spirits and his min and his ministers of fire. So Yahweh Shai man has his angels. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, they're consuming fires, man. You know? So Yahweh is the ultimate man. Says uh Revelation fourteen and ten. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, righteous anger, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angel in the presence of the Lamb. So yeah, this place is going to get totally wiped out. Babylon, you know, you know, like the mysteries of, of whoredom, you know, America, you know, Certain parts of Canada is gonna get totally this white out man, because what they have done unto the children of Israel. Let me get numbers thirty-three, I think. Is it numbers? I think thirty-five verse thirty-three. Numbers 35 verse 33. So you shall not pollute the land where ye are, for blood defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood therein, but the blood but him that shed it. So even right now with Justin Trudeau, I think he uh he had he's talking about yeah that now in parli in parliament in Parliament Hill, you know, that he you know that he's gonna raise up a he's gonna raise up um a flag you know of the natives or whatever from now to 2024 but it's like is that flag gonna do no like it's already it's already done because it doesn't matter what you're gonna try to do or you're gonna have a flag or whatever no like yahweh shy is coming for your hair head unfortunately all right isaiah 63 man most size not he's coming for your head for you know, he's coming for all these nations' heads, man. He's coming for the two thirds head. With most side, yeah, I was shy, doesn't play, man. Isaiah 63 and 1. Who is this that coming from ba Edom with dyed garments from Basra? This that is glorious in his apparel, the traveling in the greatness of his strength. I I, it says, and then, like, you know, when you read about Basra, you know, uh, like, that's in the land of Israel, all right? Basra, which would be, uh, the la in the land of Edom, right? Petra, all right? So, this Basra now is uh, referring to America. Traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, might to say, where, where, wherefore art thou? Red in his apparel and the, thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine press. I have trodden down the wine press alone. All right. So when the Lord comes, he's going to, you know, he just come to come in his father's shit. And he's just going to just, he's just going to just 
just he's just, he's gonna come with power, bro. Like he's gonna just you know, and the angels or whatever. Like so, it's like it's gonna just be like amazing, man. And it's gonna be fearful thing too. All right. So it said the righteous shall scarcely be scared or uh, saved. For I will tread them down by anger, and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garment, and and I will stain all my raiment. My day, uh, it said, for the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my recompense is come. So yeah, so that's it, man. The Lord's coming. All right, um, you know, and that's pretty much it, you know, I, um. I was gonna I had a I wrote down a whole bunch of scriptures but I feel like um I hit everything what we did everything what I was going in today uh hit the point. So with that, let's see how praise due to Yahweh Bashim and Ashai, the ones the apostle of Great Millstone. Peace and bless to the whole for members of the elect. Shalom. The of atonement's coming up, so you know. September fourth, sundown, sun which be Sunday, so you know, right, this is going to be our day of, uh, you know, morning, you know, for, you know, and basically uh, a day that we reflect of our sins and, you know, what you, what you have done in this body. So with that, I'll praise due to you. How about you, Shalom.